Welcome everybody to another pickups video. I am Brian Daniels and uh, I have amassed a few things in my collection since the very last pickups video I did here on the domain. I collect a lot of different things from pop figures, you guys can see those over here, to video games which are over here on my shelf and a lot of other things in between. And I wanted to share with you guys the things that I have in my, uh, that I've added uh, recently, over the last few weeks, even a month. So let's get into it. But before we do, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like these. I review video games, we review movies, we get into uh, thrifting on this channel, and a lot of other things in between. So if you like any of that, please subscribe to our channel. We certainly appreciate you for viewing our videos, commenting. We do uh, look at our comments and reply to comments from time to time. Anyway, Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to show off for you guys is a couple pop figures that I picked up. And this is a Macho Man Randy Savage from WrestleMania 6. And uh, when it comes to pops, I absolutely love picking up the WWE pops. I got him in a nice little pop protector. You guys can see him there. He is the uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive. And he does have a pin. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's in there. And uh, that's has his attire from WrestleMania 7. So there's that. Um, another one that I picked up that I didn't even know was a pop figure was this Paul Heyman pop um, from ECW. And uh, I'm a big ECW fan. I grew up watching Extreme Championship Wrestling. I'll never forget the memories I had watching that. And uh, it's really, really cool. You guys can see there. They've got a very nice Paul Heyman pop figure. He even has the hat. His traditional and famous ECW hat. And he even has a microphone there as well. This is a GameStop exclusive. And I believe you can still uh, find these as well. Moving away from pops. I actually just recently got into collecting lunch boxes and you can probably see like right here i have the mankind one which i did do a uh, kind of an unboxing of on the channel here several videos back but i also found i go to this little place called half priced books which i absolutely love and they are going to be having a labor day sale i believe most things are going to be 20 percent off so that's this coming weekend so if you have a half price books near you go because they have tons of great collectibles, awesome books, magazines, movies, and so much more. I got some other things I'm going to show you that I got from there. But I actually picked up this really cool looking, uh, almost vintage looking Star Wars lunchbox. This thing is so cool. I love the bright blue colors. And it also has Chewie and Han on the side there. I love that. On the other side, you have... C-3PO and R2-D2, and then on the back, you have Luke and Leia. This is also a uh, Funko uh, lunchbox. I love Funko. I love their products, but this tin was very, very cheap. It was very inexpensive, but I'm uh, glad I was able to add this to my new lunchbox collection. Moving on, I uh, do collect video games, and I have... Uh, a video game that I found, I, I don't remember where I found this at, but I absolutely love this series. And I don't have too many sealed games in my collection, but this one is actually pretty valuable. And even though it is a greatest hits one, it's still worth, I think, about $80 to $90, almost $100 now. And it is the very first Splinter Cell that is sealed. Yes, it even still has... The PS2 seal on it, so this is absolutely factory sealed. And you can see that this is in excellent, excellent condition all the way around. It did have a price sticker on here, which I do recommend using Goo Gone. Just spray a little bit of Goo Gone on those price stickers, leave them there for about five minutes or so, and then you can just, they just come right off with a, with a paper towel or, or something. And uh, so you can't even notice that there was a sticker here. You, you can't even see the residue from the sticker anywhere. So um, there it is. So 
uh, that's going to be sitting on a, I have a shelf up here. You guys probably can't see. I have a little shelf up here of stuff. So all my signed stuff, my collectibles, I think are worth a lot or that are worth a lot. And I have this right here. So I love Splinter Cell. I already have this on the regular Xbox. Um, so I can play it. But this is just really cool to find a sealed copy of Splinter Cell. The next items I have uh, to show you guys here. Uh, I found these also at half priced books and um, I've been looking for these for my non VHS VHS collection. Yes, I have a VHS collection. You uh, might be able to see some of them back here, but I do collect VHSs and I love collecting them. And I was able to find these movies that I've been looking for because I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan. Not only did I find one, I found them all. We've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. And I found them all at the same half price books. I got all three of them. I think they were like $3 each. I think one of them was $1.50 with that being the third one. But I am so ready to get some pizza. Go order some Pizza Hut. And get all three. Uh, and do a marathon of watching all three of the original TMNT movies. I know the Cowabunga Collection just came out, which is also a pretty amazing game. And uh, But I was super shocked. Probably, dare I say, shell-shocked to find all three. This is my favorite. The second one is, to me, the best one. Um, Ninja Turtle movies. This one, it's not that bad. People say it's bad, but uh, I like it. I enjoy it. Anyway... But I found all three of these to add to my VHS collection. I was super, super happy to, uh, to get my hands on those. Next item I want to share with you guys. Got more video games to show you. And uh, this is a game that maybe some of you know. It's a Capcom game. It was uh, pretty popular. It's a, uh, I think it's like a beat-em-up type game. But it is Shadow of Rome. And this is complete in the box with the case or with the manual and the disc in excellent condition. And uh, there's a place you might have seen me um, do a mom and pop stop of called The Flying Monkey. And I went there and they had this game. I had my eye on this game for a while and I was able to get my hands on it. It does have quite a bit of value. I don't remember the value of this, but I know it's more than $20, if not $40, $40 or more. And uh, this is an excellent, you guys see, look, look how excellent that case is. No tears. No nothing on that case. It looks amazing. So, um, yeah, but it has chariot races. There's different characters. There's puzzle solving missions and more. If you like this era, like Gladiator sty style, and you love Capcom, I love Capcom from back in the day, this is definitely a game you need to find and, and definitely check out. Another game I picked up also at the Flying Monkey. All these games actually. Uh, no, these two games I got from the Flying Monkey. X-Men Legends. Oh, I still need to get some Goo Gone to get that off there. But I am trying to collect every single OG Xbox game. And X-Men Legends is a, an amazing top-down RPG game. And you can play this one to, uh, was it one to four players. And uh, I remember when this first came out, I was so stoked by it. This is also complete. I'm, I'm pretty picky when it comes to the games I add in my collection. So this is actually complete in box. You got the manual and the disc as well. Definitely a game worth checking out and picking up and putting in your collection, especially if you're a X-Men fan and a top-down game fan. I love top-down RPGs, you know, like Gauntlet, and Diablo, and things like that where you go and get loot. I'm a sucker for loot-based uh, game. Last but not least, when it comes to video game pickups, I picked this up actually today. I know I've heard a lot of things about it, about some say it's not so good, others say it's really, really good, or it's glitchy and things, but I went ahead and picked up Saints Row. I picked up Saints Row today. Um, it's the new Saints Row. I just picked it up today. I'm going to check it out. I haven't opened it yet. You can see it's still sealed. But uh, I heard mixed reviews, so I'm going to find out for myself just how good or possibly bad uh, the game is, but I'm super excited to try it. I love Saints Row, that franchise I've always loved. I enjoy all the games, even the fourth game. Some people don't like it. I enjoyed it, but uh, I'm very curious to see how well this game plays, 
how good it is. Um, I know I'm a game reviewer, but I don't always pay attention to reviews. And uh, neither should you. Don't let just reviews uh, dictate your purchases. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how well this game plays. So there's that. And finally, on my pickup um, video for the day, this is my biggest pickup so far, and it's literally a huge pickup, is I've had my eye on this for a while now, and I'm so glad that I was finally able to get this, but I got the Super Shredder. Look at this. This is a huge, huge pop. You can see just how big in scale uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll show you um, just how big it is compared to a normal size pop. Look how huge that is. <laughs> just for scale. But this is the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like to think this is from Secret of the Ooze because he has the bottle of ooze there from TCRI. Uh, if you remember, you know, the Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, they got uh, the, 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 what muted them, what mutated the turtles was a, a bottle of ooze. From a company called TCRI. Anyway, um, but I got this today, and I got him at a very, very sweet deal. Right now at GameStop, your mileage may vary. Uh, they have clearance section, and everything in their clearance is 25% off. I think it's 25% off or 20% off. One of the two. Anyway, um, they had four of these left, and they were on sale for $16. So go get your Shredder, Super Shredder, if you want to get a large size Funko. This is a good place to start. The person at GameStop, I don't, uh, GameStop's kind of hit or miss. I mostly go there now for pops. I don't really buy a lot of video games there anymore. But um, the, 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 the lady that worked at GameStop today was saying that uh, people are intimidated by these because they think that they're like $100. These are actually pretty cheap. So go if you can, find one and you'll be able to get one uh, at your local uh, GameStop. Anyway, that's going to do it today for my pickups. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to do more of these videos here on the domain. If you saw something you liked, let me know in the comment section below. If you own some of this stuff, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know some uh, things you've found recently at your local shops. I love reading the comments. I love seeing what people have found and picked up. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.